As John Lilly once said, all is fair in love and war. Clearly John had never been on a dating app. If he had been on Tinder, he may have considered dating apps a more dangerous place than war. One in four women admit to catfishing, and one in three men admit to doing the same. Studies have shown a correlation between using Tinder and depression, anxiety, and substance abuse, and around 57% of females get sexually harassed on dating apps. So why on earth do we use them? Yeah, so uh, let's try it out once. All right, so name. Hans. Age. 25. Sexuality. Straight. Are you single? Yes. Why aren't you on dating apps? Because I'm socially retarded. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This is Hans. He's my friend. And over the next seven days, he's going to be trying out dating apps for the first time. A few things you'll need to know about him is he makes music, he raps on TikTok. Has bro, get out of your car to my hands though. No monopoly, but on the scene, the fuck a beat like sodomy. I'm out of an anomaly when I rob him, he from a policy, then a god And you probably guessed it, he has a pretty sharp tongue. Am I, am I allowed to say the R word? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that, okay. You can go suck a dick. We'll cut that bit. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Ed, cut that shit out. <laughs> that's, that's not me, man. Together, we're gonna find out if dating apps are as bad as we think. What dating app are you thinking of using? Probably Hinge. I heard Tinder's mainly for fucking, so probably not the best app to use if you're looking for anything romantic. Alright. Probably Hinge. Hinge Alright, so good. just download Hingey. Alright, what gender best describes you? I'm what? pretty sure I'm a man. I'm pretty sure. I am straight. Who do you want to date? I would prefer women, thank you. How tall am I? I am five foot eight. What about you? I do not have children. And I would like children. Do you drink? Sometimes. Do you smoke? No. Sometimes, actually. That's <laughs> cap, cap. Do you smoke weed? Not anymore. You don't have to be honest on dating apps, remember? This is the whole, you can be manipulated. Oh, that's like, true. That's well, not true. manipulated, but like, <laughs> cap, like certain things you don't have to I do. find it harder to be manipulative than it is to be honest. Unless honesty is a form of manipulation. It, then the it, lines it start getting a bit blurry, you know? Do you use drugs? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> After some difficulty finding photos, he finally set up his profile and started swiping. Okay, the action begins. Jess, hello Jess. You are not East Asian, you fucking liar. <laughs> you are white as they come. <laughs> You are not Asian as well. My preferences are not working. What the fuck? What the f- They're all white girls. White girl. White girl. White girl. White girl. White girl. What the fuck? <laughs> Do I just have to start considering interracial dates then? <laughs> what is your type actually? Like? East Asian. And? Fobby. I like fobby girls. I like conservative people, you know. The opposites attract. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm pretty conservative. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to dating, I'm quite conservative. Yeah. We'll get along if you're adventurous down to earth and can handle some that. Sorry, you're a little too far for me. You have too many filters on your face. I can't tell if you're real or not. Hello, Tiffany. We'll get along if you like music. Grad at health. She's from Parramatta. You like music and traveling. Who, who doesn't though? <laughs> it's kind of a, a general thing to say. Abby, 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 you don't have many photos that really show you who you are, so I'm sorry I don't have to scare you out. Man, I don't think I'm gonna get a match today, man, if I'm gonna be completely yeah. honest with you. Try, Hello, <laughs> day number two of. Day number two? Um, yeah. How are you feeling about this whole process? Um, <laughs> not gonna lie, last night when I was going through the dating app, I was like, shit, do I really want to do this? Why? So, just some, some doubt. I don't know, like, I don't, I really don't think I'm gonna like dating apps. I re-downloaded a, a Bumble and uh, Coffee Meets Bangle because Hinge only gives you like 20 likes a day. So I'm like, yeah. oh fuck, I need, I need someone, you know, I can't just... I can't just be fucking, I can't be unmatched by the end of this documentary. That'd be a massive killer blow to my ego. 
So I download a few other options, try them out. Still no matches though, so <laughs> it's even worse for my ego so far. But then I got a match on Hinge this morning, actually, yeah. Her name is Sharon. Sharon, what's her? Sharon. She looks like a cool gal. Um, well, she likes cats, judging from her profile. I hope she does. If she doesn't, then I made myself look like an idiot. I said, meow, meow, I am cat, as the icebreaker. And she said, nice to meet you, cat. And that's where we are currently. <laughs> what's, your, what, what's your next line? What are you thinking? I don't know, fuck, I don't think about these things. Uh, fuck, I actually have no game when it comes to women. I have no idea what to say. Um, what should I say? Oh, sorry for the late reply. I was chasing rats. I'm yeah, sorry. I was chasing rats. I was out chasing rats and frogs. Done. I doubt she'll reply instantly. A few moments later. Oh, Sharon has replied. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon has replied from him. She said, rats and frogs, question mark. She didn't get the joke. She didn't get the joke. It's all gone downhill. <laughs> no. <laughs> Despite Hans's best efforts, it clearly wasn't working out. So we decided to introduce a new app. So you like Asians, right? Yes. Have you heard of Tantan? <laughs> oh, Tantan. I have heard of Tantan. Let's give this one a go. Tantan is known as the Asian dating app and it was time for Hans to give it a go. I'll give it a go. I already got, a, already got a match, but with a potentially fake account though. I'm pretty sure this is a fake account. Hello, are you real? <laughs> Girl, oh, there's a match. Oh, got a match. Got another match. Sabrina, oh, this is 100% a fake account, but I'll give it a go. A lady boy from Bangkok. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? I know. Yeah, why not? Summer. Yeah, why not? Jessica, no, you are a dude. I think I'm out of likes. Yeah. At this moment, Hans felt the need to share a little bit about his previous love life. If you saw any of these girls in your life... I don't really look at girls when I walk around. I've trained myself not to do that. It's what happens when you're in a long distance relationship for five years. You like train yourself to just... Yeah, that's the only relationship I've had. I dated a Korean girl for five years. Met in China and we did long distance. Got engaged, but then I couldn't get my shit together. And then she, she, she was two years older than me. In Korea it's like, if you're like 28, you're like, you have to start thinking about getting married and settled down, so she couldn't wait. So fair enough. Mm. I don't blame her. It was looking grim for Hans, but in the middle of the night, I received a text message from Hans that he had not only matched with a new girl named Amber, but they had already arranged a date. But... What's, um, tell us a bit about Amber. I know. She is studying childcare and she works in a childcare center. She seems like a nice girl. Yeah. Very, the conversation has been quite friendly. It's not what you expect from like a dating app. I always expect on a dating app, if you're not like smooth with the pickup lines or you know, like straight to the point with the D DTF, then yeah, the girls would be uninterested. But so far it's just been, it's been like meeting a person online not necessarily on a dating app. Also, do you want to have coffee? And she said, sure, why not, lol. So I'm like, hey, <laughs> that's a yes, that's a yes for me. <laughs> yeah, nah, no suit. I don't know what to wear, far out. I, I don't have any color in my wardrobe. I'm like the most boring person when it comes to fashion. Like black, gray white more black more black more black i don't know how to plan these things i was actually considered just asking her like can we make this like a casual a casual dressing thing but i know girls like to dress up for their dates fuck i really don't know what to wear man <laughs> this is my go-to jumper when i can't be fucked but don't want to look like shit just a, a polo Today's the day. Today's the day. It is the day. Are you excited? Yeah, I guess. I hope. 
I hope she can carry the conversation as well as she can on over text. But I have met people who are very good texters, but you meet them in person, they, they fall flat. <laughs> I did my boy good. We set him up. Yeah, catfish. Now we'll see how it... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be a catfish. It could honest. be a catfish. Honestly, if it was a catfish, that'd be kind of funny. That'd be actually really That's funny. Sad. So, we just got confirmation. Um, basically, she was 10 minutes late, um, and that's fine. But then, 10 minutes go past. I want to have been stood up. Um, I want to be stood up. What did I say? What was it? Anyways. She stopped replying like 10 minutes ago. So yeah. she, she, it seems as if um, either one, catfish, never good, two, um, she changed her mind and this is an example of poor dating etiquette. Uh, three, her internet's bad and she is on her way. Um, I mean, if she's driving, she can't text. Yeah. Oh, that, that would really suck if he got set up. Because this was hype, we were hyping up to this so much. No, we were. A bit late. So it is currently 20 minutes uh, after the allocated date time. Um, Hans came like 20 minutes early. You're yes. kidding! 15 more minutes. That is uh, wow. No, I feel like we should wait for him. Then I feel bad. Like. Oh dear! Oh dear! She's coming. She's, she's coming. coming. She's yeah, coming? she's coming. She she had an Uber drama. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I'm happy. Um, it's a, okay. It's okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh! She looked cute though. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> I think they look pretty, pretty solidly happy. Wow. Was Han smiling? Kinda. I think he was. Wow. But I really see. I'm so but happy. They, they look really good though. Like, happy to you. And here we chase them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. She caught me so off guard because I was just like chatting with my friends on my phone and then she just like randomly walked up and was like, sorry, I was like, oh shit, I didn't really get time to like, like you know. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, none of that. Do you, has your perception of dating apps been enhanced, changed slightly or is it just exactly what you A little bit worse than what I thought it was, but hasn't shifted too far from what I expected. Yeah. Like, I'm already struggling. <laughs> To find some, to find a find find a partner in the real world, I sure as hell do not expect to find my one and only on a dating app. Now that your experiment is over, are you going to continue using the dating apps, having it on your phone, or are you going to delete them? Nah, I'm deleting them. <laughs> the experiment's over. I have no further requirement for these apps on my telephone. Telephone. Wow. All right. Goodbye, Tan Tan. Goodbye, Hinge. Goodbye, Boomblay. Goodbye, CMB. Peace. I will never see you again. Great, that's a wrap. It seemed like that was that. End of story. Dating apps are bad. Don't use dating apps. But I felt like there was a little more to it. It reminded me of something he said on day four. We talked about his relationship and how time had changed his perspective on finding love. I asked him whether he thought he could find the one on the dating app. Well, at the start of the breakup, no. You know, I was like, nah, I'm never gonna find someone like it. But then you realize, um, love is fickle. Like this, you always think like, oh, she was the one, that that person was the one, I'm never gonna find that again. But then you realize that the world is full of the ones. It's just about timing. It's all about timing, yeah. So yeah, def like definitely, I think it's possible. At that point, I realized it wasn't just dating apps are bad because dating apps are bad. Rather, it was dating apps are hard because finding love is hard. I mean, think about it. A hundred years ago, when humans were riding in horses and living in castles, finding love was still painful, full of rejection, full of doubt, all the things that Hans, myself, and you go through when finding love. As John Lilly once said, all is fair in love and war. And I think he meant that love is inherently difficult. If somehow you happen to beat the game and find that special somebody amidst the chaos, who knows, maybe even you can find love at first swipe.